Yo, we are at War 10 and we're against SGA. Um, my team for it is Titania, Nimrod and Odin, who I possibly didn't really need. Looking back, I possibly could have bought Guardian, um, yeah, Guardian instead. Um, we'll see why, see what you guys think as well. And in we go. Um, this loading screen took for took forever to uh, to load up. I remember at the time of doing the little pre-recording snippet, um, I ended up cutting it in the end. Um, so we're doing path two, we're doing man thing on the boss island as well. Um, I took all these four path fights within like five minutes of each other. I'd been out and about, got home and the lane was already cleared so I could use all my energy. Um, don't really need to talk about this Wiccan fight, it was another zero damage taken fight um, like the previous, so I was pleased with that, uh, consistency and all that, and yeah, works really, just yeah, getting better at the fight obviously. Um, the visual bugs here did actually throw me off, I, uh, yeah, quite distracting, it's quite funny to watch really, but yeah, at the time I very nearly tripped up, I dashed in a bit late that first one and thought I might end up getting parried. Um, it wouldn't have been too costly, obviously. But uh, yeah, it's uh, Kabam doing Kabam things. Down he goes. So moving up next, we go to Red Mags. Um, we're gonna put the Odin shot pre-fight on here, not because I need it against Max, but just to make sure it's on in case I'd forgotten further up the path against EMP. Um, didn't really, I put the remaining two Odin pre-fights on the boss, but they're not overly necessary and maybe I could have brought Guardian in, but at the same time it would have just been for the sake of using him, so I guess pre-fights are always nice, any extra boost is, is handy at this level. Um, Nimrod obviously obviously doesn't suffer ability accuracy reduction against Magneto, so even though he's not a tactic attacker, he still just removes the prowess from any tactic defenders, so that was nice. I just need to make sure I keep in blitz mode, and um, so I can get rid of get rid of any of the prowesses as they come up. Um, he's got fairly strong energy resistance, so the SP2 didn't quite get him down, but he'll go down obviously on the next one. Keep him to SP1, it's easier to deal with. Um, I find the special 2 can occasionally catch me out, and it hurts if it hits you as well. And yeah, nice easy fight, Max is down. So moving up to the next section, we are going for Mordo. Um, another easy Titania fight. I made a slight muddle during it, um, ate a couple of hits, it was really nothing to worry about. Um, I can't even remember what happened, I think I got caught between doing heavies and whatever, just trying to do my thing and ate a small combo, but again, I think, oh no, he caught me with a cheeky SP1, but otherwise it's a nice easy fight. Not parrying because then he'll astral evade me and make me degen. So just work on intercepts and use my haymaker for openings. Yeah, I just missed the dex there completely. Um, use up my indestructible. And yeah, otherwise it's fight relatively smooth. Once he uh, goes defensive with his power gain, just make sure it's heavy to stop that. Get him into an SP3 and move in to pummel him in the corner. Um, he actually did throw, I'm kind of glad that he threw the SP2, didn't cause me any harm, um, but it did stop him going to an SP3 and make things a little bit, bit risky. Um, yeah, nice and easy. Needs a small potion at the end for my next fight, and that's that. Uh, moving up to Kingpin, slightly trickier fight. Obviously I've got the Odin pre-fight for Nimrod, so the passive shocks aren't really gonna trouble me too much. Um, Kingpin gains prowess is outside me critting him because of his rage debuffs so in purifying those and other bits I do need to be careful because he will gain power um, the fight was pretty smooth keep him to an SP1 all the time and just try
try and keep myself in blitz mode, really control my combo enders and time it well so that he doesn't gain too much power. I knew that the time was going to come where he would get to an SP2, which is going to hurt um, if he catches me. Yeah, always get a combo to use up my invul because it needs an invul mobility boost. Um, yeah, the SP2 does some big damage, not quite enough. Um, he's got overpower on, which means his specials are unblockable, so again, I don't want to get caught with them. Um, the good thing with Nimrod is if I'm in my orange mode, I can cancel his prowess out through block as well, which is handy. Also controls his power a bit better. Um, yeah, I'm going to bait out one more SP1, but he gets to an SP2. I didn't want to risk trying to dex it, and yeah, so I just held out health block so he wouldn't throw it. Yeah, and he goes down. It was a sketchy fight, but not too bad. Man thing on polka dot. I was kind of looking forward to. I've done. I remember a few wars. I think it was last season taking Mojo on this node, which means I can't use any specials because I'm not putting any damaging debuffs on with Titania. So it's just I had a wipe pre-fight available to me. Um, just big boosts so that I can hit him as hard as possible. I'm not worried about poisons because I can't be nullified. Um, yeah, just as long as I don't parry, he's gonna. It's just gonna be a nice smooth fight. Um, I didn't really need the wags boost, I suppose, but it was handy. Just wanted to keep pushing him to an SP2 because it's easier to deal with, and I can bait heavy and quite easily avoid it. And the timer of the unstoppable works out nicely for me to counter him. And then I can dash back in, um, making plenty of use of my haymakers as well, just for the easy openings. Lots of light ending combos to keep the damaging debuffs on. Again, I don't really need them too much. He's going to get regen at some point. Um, at one point shortly, I do go into a safe haymaker heavy to try and put the stagger on him and ate an SP2 to the face. Um, yeah, it was a safe risk. Didn't work out, but it's fine. It didn't didn't hurt. The fight's going nice and smoothly though. I didn't want to dash back in just yet because yeah, he dashed he dashed back there and he would have he would have parried me. So I needed to be careful. Haymaker's back again, so I get some more openings. And yeah, the fight's going nice and smoothly, a bit quicker than I expected. It's safer than the Mojo fight, because with Mojo, at least while I was filling, carrying on the prompts, he would still gain power. Uh, there's no danger of that here with Man-Thing, and it's also no issue to push into an SP2, so I've got a lot of leeway. Um, his regen really isn't a problem, because I'm out damaging it anyway, plus the debuffs from Despair, and he's down. Now, at this point, I did think the war was over for me. I checked out, I'd signed myself off with five death, uh, five kills, no deaths, and uh, boosts expired. And then I got sort of nudged to say that one was open for me, and I hadn't even seen it in the plan. I completely overlooked that, so I had to boost up again. Um, I assumed we were taking it with Archangel or anyone else. But yeah, so coming back into one, um, yeah, boosted up again, which was a little bit annoying, but... You know, it happens, it's it's my fault. I uh, used, used a combat regen boost as well, which um, would have been more useful if it lasted longer or if I could control when it kicks in, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Um, Wong's pretty... Titan is a really good counter for Wong. Not the most ideal. Bait SP1, time my haymakers. The difficulty is that I... Obviously there's Limba, I can't, den can't benefit from Wag's pre-fight. There was one on which gives me an attack boost, but I can't parry him safely because Titan is a villain. Um, I just wanted to be careful of my DJ, I'm not too worried about it to start with, um, as long as I you know, can hit him soon after it kicking in. But yeah, the fight's going smoothly, not as quick as I'd like. And yeah, I just wanted to make sure I still get access to hit him when I need to. Um, yeah, he kind of stopped. I didn't expect to parry him there, so I backed off without reacting to it, which was annoying. And I did exactly the same there, so that's two parries wasted now. Um, 
now he stops sort of behaving. I'd also failed to knock him down above 100 charges, which is why I dropped down to 45% health. And I'm struggling to get an opening here because I didn't want to push into an SP2, which I've now done. I was degening fast, so I decided just to go for it. I've already lost. I didn't have my invulnerability boost. Um, I wanted to go and I've decided I'm probably going to die here, so let's just do as much damage as possible and see if I can beat him to an SP3. Um, I was hold, trying to hold block, but he threw the SP3. I'm scared shitless here. Um, at one point I thought I had invuln boost on because it barely did any damage. I don't think I've ever seen one's SP3, but yeah, I'm just so glad I survived that one. Still degening. Got the intercept there and I can finish him with a special two. Really scary fight, but a solo is a solo. And um, that's actually the end of my war. At this point, we're doing really, really well. Um, score did drop a little bit, so we'll see how we get on. Just a quick update. I was I decided to wait before posting this on YouTube as the score got really tense. We were drawing slightly ahead on time, but with a lot more to do. And our guy, Rosebud, who just deserves a shout out, came through with rank five AA. And we got the most incredible and tense win I've ever been a part of or witnessed. So props to you, mate. Well done, everyone. And see you for War 11.